Hello guys, so today it's going to be quite interesting and I'm going to be talking to you guys about how colonialists destroyed African capacity building growth. So if you're just joining this channel for the very first time, please don't forget to smash on the red subscribe button below this video. My name is Coach Wilfred Ascor. I am a capacity builder. I am also an IT certification trainer. I train on about nine to 10 IT certifications. I also coach several people transition, transitioning them into the six figure space in the IT area as well as also the founder of Zit Worldwide, a petrol coaching platform. I coach, I mentor, and I train. So that's what I do. But here on this channel, I bring to you some informations and some narratives that can help you make informed decisions and give you that reasons to move away from some of our practices that our parents, our guardians introduced us into. So today, allow me to share this with you i know it might be a little bit controversial you might not agree with me but exactly what it is it takes a lot for you to understand this like i always said religion is a business it's an opium of the poor to leave them perpetually poor that's the narrative or that's what we've come to understand so as african like i said we had a narrative or we had a culture that man must work. You must have a craft. As a matter of fact, if you are going to seek a hand of marriage um, from a lady or from a family, one of the first things they want to find out or establish is, do you have a craft? Are you employed? Do you have a job? But in today's world, we have fast moving away from those family don't care what you do again as long as they see you you have money they don't care to know what you do so how did the colonialists destroyed our capacity building um, narrative or trends they package a religion they package something they call religion in a playbook and brought it to us and we embraced it inside that package they shared some interesting stories that you and i continually read and again it is whatever you expose your mind to that's what you are gaining awareness in you know what i mean so when you continually read those stories about miracles <clears throat> miracles of the Sitsua, miracles of the widow's might miracles of several miracles what do you think you will live to be living you will live to believe in miracle you will tend to leave investing in developing your mental capacity you tend to forget about developing your intellectual capa capability. You tend to ignore the natural resources that your creator gave you to solving problems. But no, you seek for religious interventions to solving problems. Nobody solves problems with religious narrative. You solve problems by exercising your brain power in the place called brainstorming. The things you use day to day, they are all products of the brain. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, the product of the brain. So our colonial masters, the colonialists, they knew exactly what they were doing. If you want to capture a nation, all you need to do is to capture their mind. And how do you capture their mind? By exposing them to a particular narrative that will cripple the mind. So we were exposed to a tool, to an opium called religion. And that religion has destroyed our mind 
until we move away from that, we will perpetually, we will continually remain in the narrative that we are. Nobody becomes rich by religious activities. Nobody. I can tell you for a fact, those that claim to be rich, they are nothing but extortionists. You become rich when you produce a product or you offer a services. I can tell you that for a fact. That's the only way you can become rich. Nobody become rich by setting up a religious center or a religious activities and boast of being rich. No, they're not counted among the rich people. They look at them as buffoons. I can tell you that for a fact. Look around you because they're not producing anything. They cannot boast of what they are creating. Because religious activities, if you look at it, was not aimed towards that, even though that is the underlying narrative. So I need us to return back to our African practice of hard work, having a narrative of doing something with your hands, exercising your brain power. That's my message on this channel. See you all at the top because the bottom is crowded. <laughs>